days, the number of hours that people are sleeping on average is going to be lower. Now here's a, an example of a nonlinear effect or a nonlinear regression line, and specifically a quadratic function. In this case, it's stress on the x-axis and performance at a task. And there's research in psychology that shows that if your stress levels are really, really low, then you won't really perform very well on a task. And conversely, if your stress levels are really, really high, they also won't perform on average. You need a middle ground. You need some level of alertness and vigilance to want to perform well. Linear regression does not estimate this kind of effect. But it's not difficult to uh, extend linear regression to capture it using basically the same principles that I'll be talking about in this uh, presentation. And here's an example of absolutely no regression effect. So stress going on the x-axis from lower to higher and enjoyment of bacon is on the x-axis. Presumably there's no correlation between stress and how much you enjoy bacon. Well, there might be a correlation on stress on your heart. Okay, let's get to the regression equation. Regression equations help us predict a value of y given a value of x. And the example I'm going to use is the cold flus that people experience over the year based on their stress levels over a month period of time. So we're going to use the x scores, stress level, to predict colds and flus. It has three terms, this regression equation. And here is the regression equation. So y scores, that is colds, number of colds, equals intercept. This is the intercept, also known as alpha. And this is the slope, also known as beta. And it's multiplied by the number of uh, values associated with the x uh, variable, in this case, stress. This term here is called the error term. Uh, and isn't used to actually make a prediction. It's there more for theoretical reasons to have a full model that acknowledges the fact that usually we cannot predict perfectly what a score will be on y, even if we know the intercept and, this, and the slope product by x. There'll always be a residual term, usually in practice. There'll always be some level of error. Let's go into the slope a little more detail. The slope, the expected increase or decrease in the dependent variable y as a function of an increase or decrease in the independent variable x. That's what the slope is. As one variable increases or decreases, that is your independent variable or your x variable, uh, in this case stress, colds and flus are also going to change. And presumably, in, uh, based on our data that I've already showed us, it's going to increase. As stress increases, colds increase. Well, by exactly how much? And that's what the slope's going to tell us. And this is the formula. Uh, again, I assume that you know what a correlation is. So beta, or the slope, equals R, Pearson correlation, multiplied by the ratio of the standard deviation in Y, colds, divided by the standard deviation in X, stress. Intercept. The expected value of y, colds, when x is 0, stress. So if somebody had stress levels of 0, how many colds would we expect them to uh, experience over the year? The vari that's the variable in y. So it forms the foundation of the regression equation in the sense that we start off with the intercept, and then we build from there. And the intercept is the same thing for everyone. So we start off with a common value for all our observations, and then we build on from there based on the slope. And that's why I call it the foundation of the regression equation. And this is the formula for the intercept. So A, or alpha, equals the mean of Y, in this case colds, minus the product of the slope by the mean of X, which is stress. So we've already solved for, this, for the slope. And now we only have to solve this very simple equation to get the intercept. Let's look at an example. Th these are the data from the first scatter plot that I showed us. So stress is the x variable, and I've even rank ordered the variables uh, 
I, I ordered them, rather. I sorted them. These aren't ranks. They're actual stress scores. 